Hello everyone and welcome back to Career Q, a place to curate your career. So when you see the job roles, when there are two different types, namely business analyst and data analyst, and a lot of people get confused into these two roles as to, you know, which uh, role has to do with what, what are the skill sets that are eminent for which role and how much is the demand in the market for each of them, how are they different, what is different in them and what is similar, uh, which one is the right one for you and of course uh, what is the salary growth that happens in either one of them. So these are all the different questions that we will be looking for an answer to in today's video. If you are new to our channel then I would like to tell you that in this channel we discuss about software updates tech updates and organizational updates. If any of these topics are of an interest to you, then you might want to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss another video from us. With that being said, let's get started. So first, I would like to clear a confusion that both these positions or both these roles of either of business analyst or of data analyst, both of them work with the data. Their job is to work with the data that has been accumulated. However, the roles and the responsibilities and the skill sets are different, which we will be looking into in the video as we move ahead. What is the job of a data analyst and that of a business analyst? Uh, so if I describe a data analyst's job first, then a data analyst is a person who gathers the data, raw data, then he cleanses it, the data cleaning process is there, then the data modifying or the transforming process is there and then uh, analyzing the data is there in which you, uh, after transforming and after making it useful, you analyze what are the things that are being given or that are being shown in the data and after that, the data presentation or presenting the data or whatever findings you have gathered when you were, uh, you know, uh, analyzing the data, all of these presentations also need to be done. So these are the actual or major things that as a data analyst you need to do. So let me repeat it once again. And this is actually in chronological order. You need to do, I mean, the first one is done first and the last one is done last. So first you take the data or you gather the raw data, you then uh, then you cleanse the data, then you transform the data, then you analyze the data and in the final you present the data. You make data dashboards and you present it maybe to your team, your client, whoever you want to. Now what does a business analyst do? A business analyst is a person who looks into the data and sees what, the, what are the different problems or where you can improve the business and you know helps or provides solutions for the improvement of your business. So basically after the data that has been presented by a data analyst, this data can be taken by a business analyst and can be used to derive specific business related solutions. You know how you need to grow or wherein you are lagging behind. Those typical uh, you know findings or decision makings those are done by a business analyst. Now uh, coming to the skill sets, the skill sets that are required to become a data analyst and to become a business analyst are somewhat different. As a data analyst, you need to first get the raw data. So where is the data kept? Of course the databases, hence your knowledge with you know SQL, Oracle, these kinds of uh, uh, database languages, you need to be a pro at it. So as a data analyst, the very first thing that you need to know is SQL. Second, you need to know uh, scripting tools such as Python or R. Third, you also need to know a data visualization tool wherein you can present the data. That is, you need to know something about Power BI or Tableau. And, uh, and of course, for you know, uh, data cleansing and transforming, you also should be knowing about Excel and advanced Excel. So these are the different things that as a data analyst, these are the different skill sets that you must be knowing and you should be you know, aware about. As a business analyst, these skill set, the skill sets are a bit different from that of a data analyst. Firstly, what you need to have is a very strong and sound communication skills. Next in line comes the problem solving or the analytical thinking. You as a business analyst should have a great ability or a great uh, you know, skill of analyzing and uh, of solving different problems. So problem solving skills, critical thinking skills, Again, skills like decision making and you know managerial skills, these are also required by a business analyst. And of course, a bit of technical knowledge, you know, not exactly deep diving into it, but you also need to have the surface level of technical knowledge so that you are aware and you understand what process is being done, how it is being done. You might not be the one doing it, but you need to understand what process is continuing for the current time. So if we talk about the demand, then 
the demand for a data analyst is uh, a bit more when compared to a business analyst but uh, this nowhere means that either of them is bad uh, just that a bit a data analysts are a bit more required than business analysts that's it next we come on to the salary so as a data analyst the starting or the fresher salary can be as low as 2.5 to 3 lpa so you know the entry level salary that you get in any organization so you can expect the same and become a data analyst but nowhere to get discouraged because you know over the time as you gain experience the salary growth also becomes a lot more and you know as an experienced person you can expect to get somewhere in between 15 to 20 lpa and this can further rise to 30 lpa as well as you become senior and get experienced in the domain as a business analyst also the salary can be uh, the starting salary can be as low as 3 lpa but this also over the years increases to 15 or 20 LPA, uh, you know, after you have gained your experience. So yeah, the starting salary can be low for both of these, but the uh, growth after you gain some experience is really good. The last topic that I would like to discuss is that uh, if you are someone who is coming from a non-coding background and you want to make a career in the non-coding background itself, then business analyst may be the role best suited for you because this role has more of analytical thinking, problem solving and uh, you know decision making, managerial and uh, communication, those kind of skills and not really skills such as scripting language or maybe databases, those things. So if you are someone who wants to build a career in the non-coding side of the software sector, then you better go for a business analyst. But if you are someone who's really comfortable with you know uh, the softwares and you are comfortable with the coding bit, then you can definitely aim to become a data analyst. So that's all that I have for you in today's video. If you like the video, put a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, if there is something that I might have missed, then do put them down in the comment section because uh, in that way, everyone gets benefited and you know, all of us get to know more about the topic. So um, that's all that I have for you in today's video. I'll see you again tomorrow with another new topic. Till then, stay tuned to Career Q. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.